Ashley, we are just over 24 hours into this shooting investigation and police say they have no updates to share with us. Meanwhile, there were no classes at Dunbar High School today, but counselors were on hand to help students and staff who need it. These kids, the kids, they should be out having fun living their lives, finishing school. But instead, Millie Crowder says she hears more and more about teens becoming victims and suspects of violent crime. It breaks your heart. They just so young and losing their lives so early. For what? I don't understand. Monday afternoon, the latest case, police say a 15-year-old Dunbar High School student was shot multiple times just after school. The victim has critical injuries, but police say he is expected to survive. It's terrible. It's very terrible. Almost made me cry, actually. We're at a point where something needs to be done about it. You know, I hear about this all the time. You know, but something needs to be done about it. And that takes dialogue. Community members say they are tired of the violence among young people and say it's time to take a different approach to help troubled teens in our city. I think these kids need help and not just to be locked up and incarcerated, but to get them mental health help. I wish it was some type of way that we, maybe we can get together and um, rent some town halls or something like that, uh, try to get their attention some type of way. Police have not released a motive in the shooting or any information on a suspect. They say they are reviewing surveillance cameras in the area as part of the investigation. Community members hope the suspect is caught soon and the victim recovers quickly. I hope he get justice and everything be all right. I hope he pulled through. That's it. Baltimore police are asking anyone with information on the shooting to give them a call or call Metro Crime Stoppers. That number is 1-866-7-LOCKUP. Reporting live downtown, Kim Day, CWBAL-TV 11 News.